It is time for yet another exciting episode of How's the Market? Where I'll get you up to date with what's happening in our housing market here in Cocoa Beach and on the Space Coast. So stick around. My name is Eric Larkin and I'm a real estate agent here in Cocoa Beach on the Space Coast. And when I'm not making videos like this one, I'm helping people buy and sell properties. So if you have plans of making a move soon, let me know how I can help. Let's get on with this market update. Our real estate market is starting to slow down. The higher interest rates are starting to have an impact on the buyers that are here in the marketplace looking for properties, along with the number of closings that are happening. I'll break down all the trends that I'm seeing at the end of this video. First, here are the numbers and stats of what's happening in Brevard County. Active inventory is up to 2,700 properties. We sold 1,108 properties in October, putting us at just under a two and a half month supply. Average price this year was $393,000 compared to $360,000 last year. Median sales price this year was $352,000 compared to $314,000 last year. And the list to sell ratio is at 94%. Average price per square foot is $223. It's taken almost 36 days on market for properties to sell. And we had 358 of them sell in the first seven days. There are 20 properties selling for over a million bucks. And the highest price sale was 3.395 million with 45 homes selling under $200,000. Time to go beachside and focus on Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral. Here's a breakdown of the condo sales. Current active inventory is at 114, ranging in price from 139,000 up to 2.2 million. We had 35 condos sell in October, ranging from 150,000 to 1.1 million. This puts us at a 3.26 month supply. Average sales price this year was 441,000 compared to 332,000 last year. Median sales price was 340,000 compared to 299 last year, with the average price per square foot at 319 bucks. It's taken almost 42 days on average for properties to sell. We had three condos sell under $200,000 and the best selling complex was Village of the Seaport with four sales and right behind it was Casa del Sol and 2100 each with three condo sales in October. If you see value in this video and you haven't done so already, smash that like button and maybe hit the subscribe too. Time to look at what's happening with our single family home sales in Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral. Active inventory, we're holding steady. We have 38 homes on the market, ranging in price from 499,000 to 2.5 million. But the homes that sold here in October for Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral, this is the lowest I've ever seen it. We had three, three homes sold last month. And when you only have three homes selling, what does that do to your month supply? It jacks it up. We're back over a year supply of homes on the market based upon only selling three. I imagine that's an anomaly based upon all the other homes we've had selling throughout the year, but only time will tell. Average sales price was over a million bucks compared to 703,000 last year. Median sales price was 750,000 compared to 450,000 last year with an average price per square foot of 469 bucks. Took on average 80 days on market for these homes to sell. Nothing sold for under $500,000 and one of the three sales was over a million bucks. All right, I wanna start out looking at the trends with single family homes in Cocoa Beach. If you look at the what the average price has been throughout the year, average home sales are extremely high. We're usually going month over month, average sales price, we're still higher. And even comparing to last year, you can see there, there's definitely a gap. So prices have gotten exceptionally high in Cocoa Beach, and it's gonna to get to the point where we peak and it's gonna have an effect on things and how properties sell. Could it be, the Ian effect, because we had the hurricane that did all the devastation in Southwest Florida. Could it have caused um, home buyers to pull back from the Cocoa Beach area? Maybe. I think it also has something else. Another effect to consider is the inventory. We've got 38 homes on the market for sale right now, and that's been about the number throughout the year. There's quite a few of them that are new construction that you have to wait to get into. And if you look at the price of what these new construction homes are, they're expensive. They're well over a million dollars, breaching $2 million, uh, depending on where the house is located at. So you're putting some money into a house if you plan on moving to Cocoa Beach. And at that price point, it's bound to slow things down. All right, looking at trends that I'm seeing for the entire county, let's start with average sales price. 
we are definitely trending up over last year's. If you compare October this year to October last year, we're above it. And if you compare any months this year to the same month last year, we're trending well above what those average prices are. Same things happening with the median prices too. We're trending up over last year's median prices comparing month to month. But something I noticed here the last three months, so if you looked at March's sales, average sales price or median price, March's prices were above February's price, which was above January's price. But in August of this year, the median and average prices started trending down instead of up. And that's one of the factors that I'm gonna be keeping an eye on because I think it's kind of interesting is this, is there's gonna be some price changes happening with the real estate market here in Brevard County. Time will tell. Interest rate is the other trend that I'm seeing. We've been at six and 7% somewhere in that range. And that's certainly having an effect on the buyer's ability to purchase a home. It's lowering the price that they can afford if they want to keep the monthly payment about the same. So that's changing buyers trends and how they're looking at properties as to what home they want to buy. And they're kind of hitting the brakes on maybe going out there and shopping. Another factor that's having a huge impact is the insurance. If you're buying an older home and the roof itself has less than five years left of life on it, it's very difficult to find insurance, if at all. And if you can find insurance on these older roofs, it's very expensive. And that's gonna have an effect on a buyer's ability to purchase a home too, especially if they're using a mortgage. So since things are slowing down and buyers are having to deal with the higher interest rate and higher insurance costs, there's more of a selection out there for the buyers. It's giving them the ability to pick and choose the properties, maybe do some negotiations on price terms, longer inspection periods, having the seller provide some closing costs. Sellers, you're gonna to have to do some work on your property if you wanna entice buyers to come through and look at it. Price is exceptionally important right now. And also keeping the condition of the property is something you need to keep in mind too. Take care of your deferred maintenance, move some furniture out, paint that front door, change out that light fixture, do some sprucing to make your house more attractive because you're up against more homes on the market and the buyers have more choices. So let's get your home sold by doing a little work ahead of time before it hits the market. So remember, I'm here to help. If you have any questions about your move, whether you're planning on buying a home and moving into the Space Coast area, or if you have plans of moving out of the area and maybe selling that investment property to take advantage of where the prices are still at here in Brevard County, let me know how I can help. And if you stuck around this long, you probably like what you're hearing. If you haven't done so already, you should consider hitting that subscribe button. Plus, I'm queuing up two more videos right here for you to watch next. My name's Eric Larkin with Real Brokers in Cocoa Beach, Florida. I appreciate you tuning in and I'll see you on the next show.